Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Compact Claustrophobia. Today, we're gonna hopefully, by the end of the episode, get the 500 diamond blocks that we need and we're gonna start to get into Galactic Craft. I ran the game AFK all night and it processed all of the diamond nuggets and then I changed the servo to not extract them and it accumulated 2000 again. So they're currently processing in the high impact compactor and they're gonna make a few more blocks of diamond. I also set up here a detector on this exporter to export with redstone mode and also HOP graphite ingots. And once the diamonds are processed and once the last diamond gets processed in the high impact compactor, uh, we should be exporting HOP graphite ingots and we should use those to make the diamond nuggets, which would mean that we, were, we will not be processing the diamond nuggets that we're getting um, back from the HOP graphite ingots. So eventually we will have to go turn off the HOP graphite ingots to turn the rest of the diamonds into diamond blocks. But we'll just do that probably at the end of the episode or maybe in between at some point. We do have 100,000 poop though. So what we're gonna do is in our poop machine, we're gonna come here. Ah, no, wrong. This, this, and here, we're gonna set this to 1,000. Right, because I don't want it to make 100,000 poop again. So uh, we're just going to do that. And then we're going to grab a destructor with a stack upgrade and some speed upgrades. And we're going to set you here. Flip you around. Oh, it broke. <laughs> Whoops. That is not what I wanted. The destructor shouldn't connect to the system if it's facing the wrong way. That shouldn't be a thing. But everything should be fine. Uh, we have all of our storage bits everywhere. Okay, uh, this can go through here. There we go. Okay, cool, cool. So we can just flip you one more time, two more times. There we go. And we can say, uh, oh, not totally not a destructor that we need. We need a constructor. I'll place you here. Actually, this shouldn't be an issue. This shouldn't break my system. It should just try and place something. Um, Constructor is what we need and we need to drop blocks instead of placing yes. We're gonna set you to poop Here Ah, Caps lock is on. Thank you. Okay, and we can do stack and this We can sit somewhere uh, Let's grab some some walls Like half a stack We can toss them like this and like this so it should get stuck in that hole, okay? And we can open up our quest book, right? And we can go in the challenges and we can go to poop and we can detect submit. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll just sit in here and we'll go detect submit. And we'll just sit here while the poop gets tossed outside of us and we can just click it in every so often. And I'll do that until we get 100,000 because the OB, the OSS, the object submission station isn't working properly, I don't think. At least I can't get it working. So that should be fine. I wasn't even looking, but we completed the quest. And why are you still, how much poop do you, st okay, it's gonna empty the poop. Okay, cool, cool, more poop is coming in, but we should be able to get rid of these. I added three more destructors because it was taking forever with just the one. So we can now toss the rest of the poop back into the system like so. I'm gonna pick up all of the scraps that landed elsewhere. And we should have over a thousand poop, I think, in the system now. So it should just, oh yeah, six and a half. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Awesome. Oh yeah, that's the 6,000 that I uh, got before. Um, anyway, poop is now complete. So only diamonds are left. We are at 311 blocks. And one thing that we're going to run out of is in the arc furnace here. The graphite electrodes are going to run out of integrity as soon as we start making more HOP graphite ingots once the diamonds are processed. So there is a thing that I wanted to try and it's not in here. I went into our diamond nuggets thing and here we have the ability to uh, repair graphite electrodes in the energetic infuser with XP. The problem is we can't automatically insert the uh, the, the graphite electrodes into the arc furnace, which is kind of a sad thing, but I think he should just add the uh, graphite electrodes to be like infinite durability or something and add a higher tier recipe or, or something possibly. But this will kind of interfere with our diamond pickaxes for the time being. 
uh, but I think we should uh, yeah all of them are gonna need to be repaired soon but I can just leave this in here and it's gonna repair fully and then we can add unbreaking on it and that should last probably till the end of the pack okay we can just do this <laughs> I did okay I was like can we possibly combine two electrodes into one bigger one so we're gonna get three more and we're just gonna do boom 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 and I'm gonna get a bunch of obsidian out and we can get ourselves uh, just some books which I am automatically I think exporting to the to the XP farm here to this uh, arcane do heckler so we need unbreaking three which is uh, this is unbreaking two unbreaking three so four per we need another four and another four boom and then we can just grab the unbreaking box and I set up this which I don't think I showed you but it's just a constructor placing anvils uh, without a crafting card I made like a stack of anvils because that should be enough and we can just grab the books here unbreaking one there we go unbreaking three another unbreaking one and it's kind of nice in this room when you're making XP because you basically just automatically constantly get XP which is super nice so you don't have to worry about grabbing levels if you're just doing a few smaller enchants I think this anvil is gonna break soon there we go three and breaking threes and then we can add these with seven levels to the graphite electrodes and I'm gonna replace those in the arc furnace to get started with galactic craft we need to make the NASA workbench which requires a few components that we don't have for example compressed steel is made in an electric or regular compressor but the electric compressor requires uh, the regular compressor which requires wafers which are made in circuit fabricators so I have made that machine and we're gonna go in this large compact machine and we're gonna set them up over here I'll grab some walls I don't know how many machines we're gonna need uh, but we will just fill in the floor here a little bit pretty much all the way two blocks away from the edge so we can have access to our cables that are gonna be kind of on the bottom and we're gonna try and set up these machines in here we can do two floors probably if necessary but I think it should be fine we can just do uh, we can do the same setup I hope uh, I don't know how these have the the input and the outputs I'm gonna test this out a little bit but we can do the whole power on the on the bottom and caches on the bottom and stuff like that like we did in the other compact machines I managed to get the circuit fabricator running and we can automate it oh it uses the redstone torch okay sure I didn't know that I thought it was just kind of like a thing so we need a crafting upgrade here because I want to automate everything if we're already doing everything to be automated so we're gonna do a torch there and it should put in one and it should make basic wafers and then we can add some servos here on the bottom and we're just gonna extract that oh, is it gonna do yeah it did the wafers okay cool so that does its thing and it should be fine uh, the thing that we're gonna need is diamonds I currently auto craft all the diamonds that we get in the excavator room to diamond blocks because we need 500 diamonds right so I can toss the diamonds here they're gonna get auto crafted to diamond blocks which is fine so what we're gonna do to automate the wafers here we're gonna add a recipe to turn a diamond block into diamonds we're gonna add it here and we're gonna come back in here in the left craft and we should be seeing diamonds inserted I hope as soon as the recipe is registered by the system I think that should work they did set diamonds there is a crafting upgrade and we're gonna set this to be redstone signal enabled and we're gonna set this to like a stack because it's gonna use a whole bunch of diamonds so let's grab a detector here I toss you on top uh, emit when under 64 Cool. and then on the bottom here we're gonna add a, an external storage like that and that should be hooked up we should be seeing the wafers coming in cool are we seeing the diamonds coming we are not and the silicon is still getting filled up let's let's just speed it up a little bit just so the silicon feeds feed is filled up oh you're super slow oh because you're crafting the torches as well okay um I you should know how to craft diamonds right I can say one diamond and it 
Oh, it pulls it again immediately, I assume. So it's crafting it, but the servo is too quick from the... Hmm. That's That puts a wrench in the plan. Um, okay, so we need a system where we, let's say, keep a stack of diamonds in here and the rest get extracted. I don't because yeah, this is doing the, the thing right. It's boom boom boom. boom. Yeah, yeah, okay So we need to figure out something where we can keep a stack of diamonds and the rest get transported into blocks of diamonds Hopefully, I think I'd have an idea of how we can do this. We can say emit a signal when above let's say a hundred diamonds and We can set this guy to extract one at a time instead of extracting 64 at a time and that way we always keep a hundred diamonds in the system and the rest we're gonna get turned into blocks of diamond. I think that should be fine. It's gonna take a little bit longer. It's, that's gonna be like a couple diamond blocks, but I think it should be fine. And that way we can have diamonds be processed in here into the wafers without having a problem. So the other problem that I currently have, this guy can only accept power from the left side for some reason. I don't know why mod authors do this. Like, just make your machine ac power accessible from every side, like all of the other machines and not every other mod are. Uh, because this is really annoying. I have to have gaps in between machines. Plus, they ha only have machines on the left side. We're not gonna have that many machines, but it should be fine. So, uh, it's gonna connect this way. I don't know if they're covers. I hope they are. But if they're not, then that's a, it's just a sad day. To make the electric compressor, we firstly need a regular compressor which runs with fuel and you put in two ingots that you need the compression of. For example, I made four compressed steel and a compressed copper that we don't really need, but I made it anyway by mistake. So we need one compressed tin and we're gonna grab you. I keep, I keep placing machines really close and then they... Uh, <laughs> uh, my pickaxe is too fast and I break everything. So in here, we're gonna just take uh, a redstone repeater here, and we're gonna toss you in here, and you should make us a, an advanced wafer. Boom. We can toss the torches back, and the advanced wafer with the compressor is gonna make the electric compressor if we get some wire. Electric compressor, nice. So I need a bunch of these machines. I think I'm gonna only need two circuit fabricators. So we can put two of them on these on this wall and we can have one of for the basic wafer and one for the advanced wafer. And for these, I'm gonna have to figure out how I can put them here. So if we do that, we can have the wire, the wire, the wire, the wire. So we can have one, two, three, four machines per wall. And then here we're gonna have to do wire, 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 wire and the same pretty much alternating wires like that and for here we're just going to move this over by one block and that should be fine i need a bunch of these compressors because they uh, i can't see the recipes here but we need a bunch of this compressed stuff uh, a lot of it is used to make galactic craft uh, things so we just are going to automate every single one that we can that we pretty much need Apparently making the advanced wafer uses more than 4,000 RF per tick. So I'm gonna have a signalum energy cell here in the bottom. Uh, we're actually gonna grab a kit of the resonant variety and we're just gonna make you a resonant energy cell. You're gonna fill up very quickly. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't keeping up with the signalum plated item duct in the middle. So uh, that should be fine and it should work properly now and make us the advanced wafers. So that sorts that issue and now I just need to make a bunch of these electric compressors. We can now craft ourselves the NASA workbench which is going to complete the quest. And here we have four of these electric compressors making aluminum, copper, tin and iron. And this one's making bronze, steel and dash. And we have one left over for something else that we can get in the future. So the NASA workbench then unlocks so we need to go to the moon. We need to go to Mars and we need to go to Venus and there is no uh, clear like guide on how and what you need to make next and I've never done Galacticraft so I have no idea but this can make us a rocket okay um, so <laughs> I think I need to do a little bit of reading 
on Galactcraft to uh, figure out how we can do this. I am glad JEI can help with the recipes. So this is what we need for the tier one rocket and that requires heavy duty plates. So we need to head on in here and we're gonna grab a bit of compressed steel, compressed bronze, and I believe it was compressed tin or aluminum. Rocket, heavy duty plate, aluminum, bronze and steel. So that is here. So we can then set these guys up, three of you go in. We should make ourselves some heavy duty plates. They should be heading on in here as well. We're gonna lock you, take one out, flip this guy over, boom, and then here on top, we're gonna set this to be 64 heavy duty plates. Extract with redstone mode only. There we go. So we should have that going for us, and we can now craft ourselves the things that we need for the rocket. So let's get some of these going. I don't think I need all of this on AutoCraft because I can just manually make the rest. Uh, so the tier one rocket, we need one of the nose, eight heavy duties, a rocket engine, and four fins. So rocket fins, one, two, three, four, and then a rocket engine, which is here. So that requires an oxygen vent, a tin canister, which I have. I think I have some buttons. Uh, I do not engine, button, and a full flint and steel. Boom. There we go, rocket engine, and then just some heavy duty plates. Heavy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And also we're gonna grab some chests. I think two is what we need, and we can head on out here uh, to our NASA workbench, and we can do rocket fins, nose, Fuel, heavy duty plates, and then we can add chests for stored space, 36. Oh, we can do more stored space. Uh, we can do three chests. Oh no, they don't stay inside. That's fine. All right. So that, can I just shift click this in? I cannot, that is okay. We'll do it again. Boom, fins, fuel, thing, chest. Tier one rocket, stored space, 54. Cool. We then need rocket pads, or launch pads, I believe they're called. These guys. Um, that's iron blocks, not a problem. Make me a stack, please. Okay. Boom. So we need to put these in a 3x3. Three three. There we go. Makes the rocket launch pad. We can then add a rocket. There we go. Uh, oop. Okay, so space is launch, AD turn left, right, W turn up, V, F, v, F inventory or fuel. Okay, and I can sneak to get out. Cool, so I need to add fuel to a side of this rocket launch pad to fuel the rocket. I wish I could um, somehow see how much fuel was it, for, uh, it had in from the outside, but that's okay. So the fuel, needs to be made with oil, and oil is found in the overworld. So fuel is either this one, or I believe this yellow one, uh, which is oil canisters that you refine into fuel. So to get the oil, I think I need to dig down and find it. I used the, the core samples to get, like there was no mineral, but oil in some of these samples. And I think it was one of these chunks in here, so we can try and dig down and see if we can find some oil down here. I managed to find some oil. I used spectator mode to find it, I'm gonna admit it. I don't wanna spend six years digging around in the overworld to try and find oil, so this just solves that issue. And there is a machine that I forgot what it's named uh, to collect the oil, so I'll figure that out and collect it up if I can. There isn't actually a thing from Galacticraft, I think, that can uh, pump the fluids. So we're just using a fluid pump from the immersive engineering mod and it is pumping up liquid oil into this tank. So I hope this will empty because this is quite a big pool of oil and you can't see anything at all. I would really like night vision here or maybe some torches. That would uh, be lovely. So you can actually see what's going on. Boom, boom, and inside it is complete and utter darkness and a lot of blocks, but this should pump out a lot of this oil and get it stored up in here so we can turn it into fuel. 
I ate a piece of poop, so I got night vision, and you can see this actually working. It is filling the floor with cobblestone in some spots. I don't know where it's working exactly, but uh, it is doing its thing, and it's gathering the oil. So eventually this should empty. Yeah, there you go. You can see the cobblestone rising up to the top. Uh, and we should have uh, a bunch of oil here, and hopefully it's enough for us to do our Galactic Craft adventures. All of the oil has been gathered up, and we can now pick up the tank over here. Like so and we can turn it into rocket fuel in our base i also made a diamond hammer just to mention it with efficiency 5 sub touch and breaking to uh, mine a bit faster here because i thought i was going to need to dig a whole bunch but then i decided to just use spectator mode so it would be fine anyway uh in galactic craft here we can set up a refinery uh hopefully i have everything that is required to make it Sure, it's simple as that. Boom, refinery. I toss you here. And of course you, of course this has a different power thing. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna need any more of these Galactic Craft compressors, but I'm gonna put you here. And we're gonna grab a bit of wire and just bring it over to the top. And you need oil uh, to come in. And I assume that is the input. Can I just do this? No. Um, right, so I need a proper duct or something to go into it to connect it and then the output is here on the right i would assume this machine is incredibly slow so we could potentially use multiple of them uh it would require a bit of a weird power setup because we need to bring power in from the top and then fluid on the sides so it would be a bit wonky and weird so i might just leave it at one and it's going to do its thing and in the meantime we can go set up everything else for the oxygen that we need and we can also prepare for the uh, flight to the moon the next two machines that we need is the oxygen collector which will just produce oxygen from power and being in the world and then the oxygen compressor which is going to store it in heavy oxygen tanks that i've made so this will just slowly drain oxygen from this guy as soon as we give it some pipes. There we go. So it should just fill up oxygen tanks and I can possibly make a couple more tanks. I think four should be sufficient for what we're going to need. And I can just charge all of them up and we should be good. The other thing that we are going to probably need is either the oxygen sealer, which will check for an enclosed space. And if the space is enclosed, it will fill it with breathable air. And then the oxygen bubble distributor will emit an oxygen bubble outwards from the central block using internal tank. This allows safe breeding inside the bubble. And what we can do on the moon is we can set up, let's say, a wheat farm. And that will uh, collect oxygen, I believe, from the oxygen collector. Or this guy should collect oxygen from the wheat, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, we could also use a tree farm and leave the tree until all of the leaves disappear and then break the logs after. That could be a thing, but I think for the what we need uh, to do, we could just live with the oxygen tanks that we do he have here. Uh, and we all we need to do is mine 10 moon rock and then pretty much leave and then go to Mars and Venus as well. We now have a fuel loader that is being filled up with fuel as soon as we disable this redstone here. We should eventually just fill this guy up and we can say stop loading because this has loaded up with fuel. So we have 100% fuel in the rocket. Uh, I hope that's enough for the return journey. But just to be safe, we're going to fill up a fuel canister with a bit more fuel. This guy firstly needs to get stocked up with fuel on the side here but we can just wait for that to happen and then we should back up some more fuel into this guy. How much oil did we use? We used barely any oil to be honest. So um, that should happen eventually and we should be good. I think we are fully ready to go to the moon. So we're gonna do this. We have a fueled rocket. We don't need anything in inventory. I have even a flag and we can now space to launch. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, last off we go. Fuel's dropping, but it's okay. 
We need to get out of the atmosphere. You can steer the rocket. I'm not gonna touch it just yet. I don't know how it works, where it gets us, how it goes, but I'm just gonna leave it be. We're gonna see how it goes. I don't know if I have to steer it over to the moon, but I don't see anything. I don't know. Maybe we'll just speed up this bit and see how it goes. Ha, ah, okay, we got it. So we can go to Venus, Overworld, Mars, or Asteroids. Uh, where's the moon? Okay, Venus, Tier 3, Overworld, Tier 1. Ah, moon, there we go. Okay, gotcha. Um, and then Asteroids is Tier 3, Mars is Tier 2. Okay, so I think we have to go to the Overworld, to the moon, and then we click Launch. I think that should work. Prepare for entry. We are preparing for entry. Aha, entry velocity. Okay, it's dropping us down in a thing. Okay. Uh, hold space to slow down. I am holding space to slow down. Gotcha. We stop holding space. We Okay, cool. We would land on the moon. Did it. Okay, can I get out? I get out. Okay, I have oxygen in my oxygen tanks. It's draining quite quickly, to be honest. So what we can potentially do is we can make a an enclosed space. Okay, we're probably need a frequency monitor here property here. Okay, sure. Uh, can we access our thing? We cannot. Uh, so I need to mine a bit of moon rock. Oh, that goes quick and it flies up in the air a little bit. Okay. Uh, I need to make, what, like 10 or so moon rock? That moon rock, that's moon turf. Moon dirt. Ah, moon rock, there we go. Get in here. And moon rock. I think that's quest complete. Aha, we did it. Okay, cool. Uh, since we can fly, we can just fly around here. We have enough fuel or enough oxygen to last us quite a bit. Um, I should probably kind of waypoint these coordinates because I think we can use this to get back. But I think we need to go find, yeah, we have a rocket launch pad. We can empty this in here. Uh, we can grab her this and this, and then we can set it up wherever we want to to head back, I think. But I think I need to find like a space station or something on the moon, maybe? Probably not since the moon has not been visited by anybody else but me, I would assume. Uh, but I would probably need to find something uh, like a blueprint for a tier 2 rocket, I think. We need to raid and loot the moon dungeon. So that is underneath the moon surface. So I'm just going to dig down and see if we can find it by accident or by luck. Oh, there's caves. Can we find it through caves? That would be wonderful. Oh, it's super dark. I should have brought some poop. I evolved zombies, evolved endermen. I should have also brought a bedrock sword. Uh, oh, these guys hurt quite a bit. Oh, they're okay-ish. And I can't hear at all, and it's super weird. Okay, they don't hurt me that much. Plus, I have the super food. That one. Oh, creeper exploded. That's fine. All right. Um. Cool. Uh. Ooh. Hi. Who are you? What are you? Ah, I can't see. You probably can't see anything at all. I will try and see if I can find the uh, the moon dungeon and we'll come back when we can raid it. I found this. I don't know what it is. Can I mining level obsidian? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Fallen meteors can be found in many planets. Moons which have little or no atmosphere will drop meteoric iron when broken. Did you drop meteoric iron when broken? It did not. Okay, uh, so the moon dungeon is somewhere underneath here. Oh, there it is. Ah, 
Gotcha. So it has an entrance. Okay, cool. So in here, oh, it's super dark. Sure. Um, hi. Oh, there's spawners in the corners. I really should have brought my bedrock sword. That would have been better. Hi. No, go away. Spawners, get... Oh, God. Ow. That hurt. At least they get rid of the spawners, which is fine. Alright, uh, let me do a speedy up thing of me exploring this so we can find ourselves the tier 2 rocket. I totally just realized that I didn't record the moon dungeon, but I beat the boss. I got the tier 2 rocket schematic, which we're gonna get another dungeon in on Venus or on Mars, I believe. But we can just launch the rocket and head back home and we should be good. I totally messed up. OBS sometimes like double clicks when you press the start recording button or your keybind for your start recording button and it just didn't record. So I'm sad that that happened, but it did. We're gonna head back home and we're gonna prepare for our next landing, which I think is gonna be in the next episode. With this tier two schematic, we're gonna come back in the next episode, create a tier two rocket, fly over to Mars, get a tier three rocket schematic, then fly over to Venus, and then finish off the pack. And with that, I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash the like button. You can also subscribe to get notified of when new videos go live. You can support me on Patreon as well if you want. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.